Hi guys and welcome to another Mr. Pollock Biology video. This time we're looking at gas exchanged insects from AQA AS Level Unit 2. Here's our objectives. We're going to understand the structure of the tracheal system. We're going to describe how insects ventilate themselves and we're going to identify a couple of limitations of the tracheal system. So here's our model insect. Mainly we use locusts in biology. Um, because they're a great example of an insect. They've got a small surface area, they've got a relatively large volume, so as a, that's a, uh, a small surface area to volume ratio, and they have no transport system. And because of these reasons, they need an exchange system that takes oxygen directly to their tissues. And thus we have the tracheal system, but we'll get to that. Here's our insect again, our friendly locust. It's got a couple of key features we should look at. Here's the head, that's pretty obvious. Here are some wings, they're pretty cool. But the bits we need to know really are the abdomen, which is this bit at the back here, and the thorax, or the chest, which is this bit in the middle. Now if we look at a cross-section of inside this insect, we can see how the tracheal system is broken down. We have the trachea, where there are two, two tracheas down either side of the insect's body. Um, we have the tracheoles, which are smaller branch tubes um, that take the oxygen directly to the muscle tissues. And then on the outside of the body, we have spiracles, which are a little bit like stomata in plants. Let's have a look at this a little bit closer. Here we have the spiracle. Again, look how similar it is to a, to a stomata or a stoma in plants. That's to control water loss, but we'll get to that. Here's the trachea, the main, uh, the main oxygen carrying tube. Here are the tracheoles, look how they branch towards the muscle fibres. Now at the bottom of those tracheoles there will be a small amount of fluid that the oxygen can dissolve in and thus make diffusion to the muscle fibres a little bit easier. Um, but how does the insect actually ventilate its body? Well it pumps the abdomen in and out which draws air into and out of the trachea via the spiracles. Now, air moves into the tracheals from there and arrives directly at the muscle tissue. This is a really, really simple system. But why aren't insects bigger? Well, this is to do with the limitations of the tracheal system, amongst other things. As we get bigger and bigger and bigger, we find that we have more cells. More cells means more demand for oxygen for respiration. Now the tracheal system simply can't meet those respiratory demands. You couldn't get enough air in to supply the cells with the oxygen that they need. Now, back in ancient times, back in you know prehistoric times, when the oxygen concentration of the atmosphere was higher, you know insects could be bigger. But currently, with the oxygen concentration as it is, it simply can't happen. Also, as we get bigger, the mass of the exoskeleton increases, and that would cause uh, the insect to be able to move less or even not be able to move at all, which is a massive problem. Uh, insects, obviously, are quite prone to desiccation with all those holes along the side, the spiracles, so they have to limit water loss. And what they do is they close spiracles as often as they can to minimise water loss, and they have hairs around the spiracles to trap humid air, uh, which therefore results in less water loss. Um, also, what they will do is they, if they need to close their spiracles for a long period of time, some of them have air sacs along the trachea, um, which allow them to store a small amount of oxygen, just in case they, they can't ventilate for whatever reason. So let's summarise this whole thing. It's not a great massive section of your specification, but as long as you know that the tracheal system is a series of tubes that supply the muscles with oxygen directly, um, and if you know that pumping of the abdomen ventilates the body and spiracles open and close to minimise water loss, you've pretty much got everything covered the examiner can throw you. So best of luck with your exam coming up soon. Uh, if you like this video, hit like and let me know what you want next in the comment section and be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.